Scott Walker is still the governor of the state of Wisconsin. From the day he was sworn in last year, there was talk about recalling him. Democrats and liberal groups in Wisconsin have been working towards that goal for almost a year and a half now. That ended on Tuesday night when Walker successfully fended off challenger Tom Barrett, who has now lost three bids for the state's highest office. Thanks to all of you and everybody at home watching tonight. Thanks to all the people who yet again entrusted in me your vote as the governor to be the 45th and continue to be the 45th governor of the great state of Wisconsin. Walker led Barrett in every poll released during the campaign, but Democrats believed if they could attain presidential election turnout in the state's largest cities, Barrett would defeat Walker. The McIver News Service visited polling sites around southeastern and central Wisconsin on Tuesday. Everywhere, poll workers said they were seeing higher turnout than usual, even compared to the last gubernatorial election. After practically two years of nonstop elections and campaigning, Everywhere, people were showing signs of voter fatigue. I'm really glad that it's over with. Oh, it feels great. One way or the other, it always feels great to get it over. Uh, it's finally glad to be um, coming to an end. Um, today, we're making history, and that's all that matters. But Walker supporters came through. It was your first time voting? It was. What made you want to vote in this election? Um, I support Scott Walker. It's plain and simple. He um, is taking care of the deficit. And he's, I believe, for the people. The recall was initiated by labor unions, upset with changes Walker and other Republicans made to the state's public employee labor laws. Tuesday's recall marks the end of a tumultuous 16-month period in Wisconsin history that saw an occupation of the Capitol building, death threats to lawmakers, boycotts of Wisconsin businesses, and near-daily rallies and protests. Democrats and their allies unleashed an unprecedented campaign to defeat the governor. The McIver News Service tracked nearly $40 million of liberal spending since the uprising began. With Walker's victory, Republicans are optimistic Wisconsin will still be in play for the presidential election this fall. For the McIver Institute, I'm Bill Smolsky.